This is an introduction safety video on the joiner. We are going to introduce you to the basic components and safe operation of this machine. To begin, let's go over some of the basic components before we start talking about safe operation. First, let's talk about the tabletop. Although it looks like there's one big long tabletop, they are separated by what's called the cutter head. So we need to be able to identify the two tables. One is called the infeed and one is called the outfeed tabletop. The infeed table is slightly lower than the outfeed table. This tool also has a vertical metal fence. The fence will always be set at a perfect 90 degrees from the tabletop. Between the infeed and outfeed table is a retractable guard. The guard should always spring back to the fence. Under the guard is the cutter head. The cutter head is the part of the machine that does the milling of the lumber. If any reason the guard does not spring back to the fence and the cutter head is exposed, please notify the instructor. Like all power machines, there could be a different on and off power switch. Notice this joiner switches raised to turn it on and lower to turn it off, while this switch has an illuminated green button in the center to turn it on and a red outside donut to turn it off. Let's now talk about safe operation. Because the fence is set at a perfect 90 degrees, you need to just press the board's flat face against the fence with your fingers down and thumbs up the entire time. Our goal on this machine is to get a straight 90 degree edge from the face of the material. Which means we're using your fingers down and thumbs up you just need to place the board's flat face against the fence the entire time. Since the infeed table is a little bit lower than the outfeed table, as long as the board stays against the fence, you'll get a straight 90 degree edge. Now let's watch that one more time. Different joiner, same ideas. The operator turns the machine on, using his fingers to press the board's flat face against the fence and his thumbs up, he is going to gently press the board across the cutter head, keeping it against the 90 degree fence the entire time, and giving his material a straight 90 degree edge. Now that you've been introduced on how to use this machine correctly, let's show you a few things that are not okay. First, never try to mill end grain on the joiner. There are a number of other tools that we use to cut across the grain in our shop, and the joiner is not one of them. Also, we have a lot of ways that we can cut plywood. The joiner is not a tool that we ever use to mill plywood. Plywood already has flat faces and straight 90 degree edges. The minimum size is four inches in width and 12 inches in length. Most importantly, never attempt to face a board on the joiner. If you attempt to run a small board or a board's face on the bed of the joiner, then your hands are going to be far too close to the cutter head. So just remember, the only thing that we use the joiner for in our shop is to make straight 90 degree edges. Using your fingers down and thumbs up, place the board's flat face against the fence the entire time. This concludes the joiner video. Thanks for watching. Let's get back in the shop and let's get back to building.